Hello, everyone. Welcome back once again. So today, I am going to show you how to bridge out of MetaMask and into TronLink. This is going to allow us to use the mined and harvested BTCCs that we've been working on the last uh, few weeks. And we're gonna be able to use those to hash up to get more mining power, or maybe you need some poc uh, pocket funds. Maybe you need to uh, you know, buy your mom some flowers or something. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, you will come to the DAP, the Bitcoin code dot technology, and you can see that the BTCC price is at $69.47. The last week it's been continuously rising. Um, and today is the day that I am going to do the bridge. So first of all, we will see that in MetaMask, we have 16.29 BTCCs. That would give us uh, enough to hash up two $500 miners, but I want to keep a little BTCC in here because that's going to increase in value over the next uh, little bit. So I'm going to just do a $500 miner for today. And first of all, we're going to have to swap because we need, when we uh, are moving funds, it has to be in USDT. So we'll swap BTCC for USDT. Uh, I'm going to do 7.5 because that will give me 521 USDT and that will cover any fees that might accrue. It shouldn't be that much. You can see that 7.5 BTCCs are valued at $521 today. So I'm going to go ahead and swap those out and confirm. And just follow the prompts. So we'll go to MetaMask. And I just will show you here under tokens. The BTCC went down to 8.79. We have 521 USDT. Okay. So in order to bridge, we go back to the DAP. And we go over here to bridge. Okay. So we are going to put 521 USDT. And we want to switch this because this is the Tron link, but we're going to Tron link from BTCC. So let's just push those two arrows right here in the middle. That's important. Don't forget to do that. And then we also need to grab the destination address. So in order to get the destination address, we go up to Tron link because that's where we're sending money. And everyone's will be different, but it's right here underneath the... Uh, total value that you have in TronLink. Might be zero, but copy. And then we'll paste that. Make sure the first three and the last three digits match. It's always good practice before you send any funds ever. Okay, we're good. Um, why is that 10? We need to change that to 521. It probably changed when I switched the arrows here. So always double check that your number, USDT number is the amount you want to send, and then you can bridge. So that 521 USDT will land in TronLink after we go through the prompts here. Open up Okay, bridge token success. Woohoo. Tron link. Okay, it might take a few minutes for it to land in your Tron link. So you just sit and uh, wait patiently. And while we're waiting, we can go ahead and uh, copy the receiving address that we're going to be sending that USDT to. So we go to WAS. And then you go to assets. And then under depo deposit wallet, TRC20, this is your receiving address. So push the down arrow and copy. Okay, just remember your last three digits and first three digits. 
Go back to Tron Link, see if it's landed yet. Okay, there it is. We have landed. Okay, as you can see that it did charge a fee. So we had sent over 521 and 509 landed. I think I might've had like one USDT in here. So 508. So we're going to go ahead and send that over to WAS. And in order to do that, we need to grab our deposit wallet address in WAS. You can find that on the dashboard uh, under assets. And then here, this little down arrow under deposit wallet TRC20. And then copy. And then go back to Tron link. We'll click on USDT because that's what we're sending. And we will send. Here is where you paste in that receiving address. Always make sure that you have the first three and last three digits the same. And I have mine saved in here already, which it will have you do that if you want to. Okay, and next. So here I will enter in the uh, max because I want to send it all over. So I'm going from Tron, which I named that WAS crystal, to my WAS, okay? And you can see that there is a 13.39 TRX fee. That's not dollars, that's a TRX. I don't know what TRX is valued at, but um, it's not much. Go ahead and sign. And it might take a few moments, even up to, you know, a few hours sometimes, but it's usually pretty quick. Action submitted and it has been broadcast. Confirm. Okay, now you can see there's zero USDT. Now let's go on over to WAS and refresh the page. You have to refresh the page and it will take a few minutes. So it's just gonna take a little bit. You can keep refreshing. Okay. Now you can see that it's landed in our deposit wallet. So what we'll do now is we'll hash up. So we can click this diamond here. And we are doing $500 minor. We're going to do one. You can change that if you have $1,000. You would change that to two, so on and so forth. And next. And hash up. Here you will choose where the money is. So. In our case, it's in the deposit wallet. It will be most likely in your case as well. 517 is in there. And then your transaction password. If you haven't created one of those yet, you will do so. And then there will be an OTP code that comes through email and submit. Okay, so that has been purchased. Okay, so you can scroll down under on the subscription page, you'll scroll down and you'll see that your miner is here and you will copy this code. Make sure to get the full thing, copy, and then go to the DAP and you go to mint and then paste the code. Okay, and mint. Okay, so as you can see, my NFT is at one. Uh, so it's been minted. And now we need to go ahead and stake that miner. So we go to mine and then miners in wallet. And there's that $500 GT 10X and we will stake it. Go through the prompts. Okay, stake miner success, excellent. Um, we can go ahead and I just wanna show you reload the page. So once they're staked, your NFT will be at zero. You will have no miners in the wallet. And that is how you hash up with using your BTCC that you've already previously harvested or mined and then harvested. Um, in my case, I waited until I was happy with the price of BTCC. And uh, if you want to uh, keep 
your hash power or it, in other words, your mining power up, you're going to want to hash up frequently. So just keep that in mind. Okay, if you have any questions, if you want to start mining and haven't done so already, uh, definitely reach out to me at clarity at crystalclearcompass.com email. And I also have a Facebook chat group you can join, uh, Abundant Mindset Generation. Okay, you all have a lovely day and uh, keep on mining. Much love. Mm -hmm.